Hi, this is Kathleen with Carven Tag and Title Service located at 7000 Belair Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Zip code is 21206. Uh, my phone number is 410 668 And our website address is www.carventagtitle.com. Today I'll be talking about business car registration. This is like for people who want to register a vehicle under their business name. Say like you have tag and title just like me, you know. Say like I wanted to register a vehicle under my business. I'll be needing this here. This is uh, from Department of Assessment and Taxation. You get this from Princeton Street. This is like when you go to the business office to register your vehicle. Uh, I mean, no, to register your business. So once you register your business, they'll give you this. Showing the company name. We need this here. This is called um, Articles of Organization. That's what it's called. So that's the place where you're supposed to get it. You go to Department of uh, Assessment and uh, Taxation. They're actually on a uh, Preston Street. You see here, it shows my company name, Calvin Tag and Title Service. Actually, it's got the address, yeah? Yeah, see the address? It's going to show my company name and then my address. See, it's right there. That's what we need as proof of you own the business. And then also we need the tax ID number. This is the tax ID number for this business. So it looks like this. We need a copy of this from IRS. So when you register this business, you go online to apply for a, an EIN number or tax ID. So once you get it, sometimes you, if you don't want it uh, mailed to you, you could have the option to print it out. So once you print it out, your tax ID is going to be right here. See the number here? This is your tax ID number right here. So it's going to be there. We need this too to register a vehicle under your business. So if you have that, then I'm going to need the title of the vehicle. Make sure there's no lien. On this one, there's no lien. You see here, if there was a lien, there would have been like an institution name down here. Whoever financed the vehicle, you know, the information will be here. But this is a clean, clear title. So I'm going to need the title on the back of it. Make sure the seller signs here. That's the signature of seller and then printed name of seller. So once you have that, you bring this to me. And then when you come here and I make sure and I check this paperwork, everything is good, then I'm going to be needing you to put the name of the business here. You don't have to put your personal name. Now you'll be putting the business name. So you print the business name, you print the address below it, and then you put the mileage of the vehicle right here. See here? You put the mileage. And then below here, below the seller's signature, is going to say signature of buyer. So you print your name below. And then you sign here. And then over on this side, you're going to state how much you paid for the vehicle. Where it says the selling price, right here. Are you seeing it? Right, okay, selling price is this one here, the one above, the pink, the top one. And then the one below, sorry, the one below that is the date of purchase. So that's all you have to fill out. So once you fill that out, make sure you have insurance. If you don't have insurance, no, no, you must, yeah, you must have insurance. Also, Maryland Safety Inspection. If you don't have Maryland Safety Inspection, then we'll be doing 30 day. So if the vehicle is seven years or newer, then you have to notarize the bill of sale. The bill of sale must be notarized in order for me to proceed. The seller must notarize the bill of sale. Then I'm going to need your driver's license. Yeah, I'm going to need your driver's license. So, um, if you're transferring your tags, then I'm going to need the registration card of the vehicle we're transferring from to the new vehicle I'm registering. So, make sure you have this. If you don't have this, then, and if you don't have the uh, articles of organization and the tax ID number, I will not be registering the vehicle for you or registering other under the uh, the business. But if you've registered a vehicle previously, 
if you've registered a vehicle previously on this uh, company name, all you have to do when you come in to me, you're going to bring me the registration card of that vehicle. On it, there's going to be a Z number. Z number is the standard number for your business. It's always, it's always, it always starts with a Z. For businesses, it's Z and then your standard number. So make sure... If you're already in the system, like I said, make sure you bring the registration card of that vehicle or write the Sanders number down for me. But if it's going to be a new business, then you got to give me this. But once we put it in the system, we don't have to do this every time you come to me to register a car under that business. All you have to do is to bring me the Sanders number or the registration card of the vehicle, you know, that was previously registered. That way I'll be able to get the Sanders number off of the uh, registration. So if you don't have a uh, mainland safety inspection, then all I will be needing will be uh, the uh, articles of organization, tax ID, tax ID, yeah, tax ID number, the title, insurance, and your license. And if we're transferring, I'm going to need the registration card. So that's all about this. Um, what else? Mm, that's about car registration, I mean business car registration. So once you have the Sanders number, then every time you come back to me, all you have to do is to present me the uh, Sanders number and I should be able to, you know, use it to register the vehicle. And also if you misplace the registration card and you don't uh, know the Sanders number, all you have to do is to call MVA. Call MVA, get the Sanders number before coming to me because if you come to me and you don't have it, there's no way for me to find that Sanders number unless you've registered a vehicle with me before but if you are coming to me for the first time and you've previously registered a vehicle somewhere else there's no way for me to search by the Sanders number we don't have that option and I also does not and also do not have the option to search for the company name so you must have the Sanders number uh, yeah you must have the Sanders number when coming to me so if you misplace it make sure you call MVA before you come to me or when you get here, I'll call MV, and then once we get the Sanders number, I should be able to register the vehicle. So that's all about it. If you have any questions, please leave me comment on the section. On the leave me your questions on the comment section, and uh, whenever I get to them, I should be able to answer them accordingly. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, give me a call at four ten six six eight six thousand. Thank you.